Hey guys, Chris here. So I've been noticing a lot of, of talk about antennas. So everybody's getting these crystal eye flight patch antennas. I got them. And uh, yeah, they look cool. That's pretty much why I bought them. But uh, how do they work and which ports do you put them in? Well, there's a picture and I'll show it to you here. And that picture pretty much tells you that the uh, lower ports provide the most strength to the goggles. Now, what's the difference? So why do we have some people that put the patch antennas on the top and some of the people put the patch antennas on the bottom? Well, that all depends on how you're flying and what you're doing. So if you're a long range kind of guy and you're going to fly your uh, drone out in front of you, then yes, you'll want these patch antennas that are connected to the Crystal Sky faceplate to be on the top. That way, you have the most directional um, information flow possible. But if you're a mixed flyer, say you do some freestyle maybe a mile away from you, maybe two miles away from you, you need some penetration through some trees, then you'll want to do the setup that I've done here where I have the patch antennas on the bottom and the omnidirectional antennas on the top. Uh, you know, there's a bunch of different styles. Does this patch antenna get outperformed by this patch antenna? Does this omnidirectional antenna by Furious FPV get better reception than this antenna, which is the Team Black Sheep Stubby? Um, minutely. All of these guys are within the same range, plus or minus 1 dB. So what are we really talking about here? We're talking about style, we're talking about uh, the, the compactness, and we're talking about how you fly. Do you need it for long range? Do you need it for mixed flight? Do you need it for um, bando bashing? So in reality, that's what you're buying these uh, goggles and these uh, antennas and the patch antennas and the omnidirectional antennas and that's what you need to know when you're setting them up so if you want maximum range you're gonna want to basically improve these stock antennas of course you're not going to be flying with these but you also want to put your patch antennas on the top and if you're a mixed flyer then you're gonna leave your omnidirectionals on top and leave your patches on the bottom I hope that answers some of your questions, and uh, yeah, until next time, see you later, guys.